hello gems how are you guys doing today welcome back welcome back to your channel all right so gems we're gonna dive right into your no contact okay because i feel like we haven't done a no contact read in a minute i feel like if we look back if we look back gems there have not been a video with a no contact I'm just checking really quickly to see if I'm right or wrong because I think we did a singles read the other day and I just want to really check to make sure I'm not tripping hmm no contact no contact did I say no contract oh my gosh no contact read okay so that was three days ago so let's just do it right now and I feel like we also need to do a 48 hours so let's see what the energy have for me today what the energy <laughs> what because i need to see if the divine is going to give me this energy for you okay so let's see what we have for this no contact read for them what's the energy what's this person's energy for gemini's Let's see what we have for Gemini's. Ooh, wow. Talk about no contact. The Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Magician here. So that is your energy, Gems. You really want to find out what's going on. Like, what happened with this person? We have the High Front and the High Priestess. Okay, so you have a few major cards here. You have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. The high front which is which is taurus energy and then you have the high priestess which is cancer energy now i'm definitely seeing some stubbornness here as well with the high front but i feel like this person is making their own decisions though no matter what someone says to them they're making their own decisions when it comes to this when it comes to this um, relationship, when it comes to this energy, being around them, it's like they're they're definitely making their own decisions. And people might not like it, but it's like this is who they are. Tell me more about this. We have the ooh, ace of pen, the ace of um wands in reverse. Tell me more. The devil in reverse. So this is an addiction. The way this person, you know, acts is I'm totally getting like this person has been dealing with this toxic behavior for such a long time. This is what I'm feeling here. I'm seeing like a stubbornness, you guys. Oh my God, the stubbornness with this person coming up. You have the high front and plus you have this devil's energy here. I feel like, yes, there's room to grow within the high front, but within the devil being here, this person is pretty stuck when it comes to this manipulation technique, when it comes to this, the way they are. It's like I'm getting a bit, um, could be drinking a lot or taking drugs or some kind of form of addiction that they're struggling with and i feel like this is to mold whatever is going on within their lives in this moment okay tell me more so this person might be uh and the funny thing is i don't see them coming to you right now i feel like this person is kind of afraid like they're afraid they have this energy of disdain to themselves or you know in the dark very dramatic energy it's like I'm feeling like this person when they're when they're down it's like you don't want to be around them kind of vibe they don't know how to control it like if they feel down everybody else has to feel down too the queen of wands here you're coming up as a really good um, person for this person for this energy coming up really light I'm also see conversation happening so there's going to be a download here I don't feel like this person has the determination to make this work or to go through with it go through with this um the energy that they're supposed to go through with with you but i i feel let's see then you have the five of cups here 
You have the page of cups. I'm seeing like this on this happiness. Like this person is like looking at you as the queen of wands. You have the ten of you know, it's kind of cups here. You have this communication coming through plus the apology here i mean a lot of like i see you <laughs> kind of energy um i want this it's like they're watching you i feel like a lot of you took a break from this person or walked away from this person or ran away from this person and then there is this like 11 11 when they think about you it's like this happily feeling that they have for you like this full cup like all this ten of cups filled it's like they really feel fulfilled with you like this is their home this is their purpose you know this is what they want is a happy home i feel like this person is going to communicate this to you once they have to download on the understanding of how you feel so they're going through a process of learning right now with the divine The Five of Cups is here in reverse. I feel like you feel stripped. Stripped. The Five of Cups. With this energy, like this person made you feel stripped, this is why you ended it with the Ace of Wands. You really just stopped this relationship. You couldn't deal with the toxic behavior anymore. But this person was very challenging for you. They thought they knew everything. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing them trying to like teach you things and you're just like rolling your eyes. Oh my god, like they're trying to be a teacher. I'm also seeing like this person got you twisted too. Like your intuition was all over the place. Like you weren't listening to your inner self. The Nine of Cups here. The Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, hmm, this person is in their feelings, I feel like they're not telling you how they're feeling when it comes to this Ten of Cups, it's like they're hiding this or keeping this to themselves. They have a lot of love for you. I'm seeing these dolphins. Ooh, cards are flipping because of my nails. <laughs> this dolphin right in, in the back here. But then you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So there's promises that this person have not failed. And I feel like this is also why you let go of this relationship. I'm also seeing the Eight of Swords where there was a lot of lies behind this. So you felt stuck. You felt like you were living in fear, like there was always something coming up, but you released that energy of fear. You don't have this anymore. So you still don't know the truth about what happened. There's a lot of jealousy here. So I'm getting like Virgo energy. Virgo is coming out very is strongly with this magician being here. Then you have Virgo with the hermit. So you're being pushed. I feel like a lot of you need to start doing your soul searching, need to start, you know, tapping into um, spirituality. This is what I'm hearing for you. This is, uh, I feel like this is what's needed. I, you know, within the devil being here in reverse, this person took a toll on you. So this is definitely needed. On the back of the deck, there's a situation that needs to be addressed. I feel like you have it in you to do this within the strength of being here in the upright. For those of you, I'm seeing Leo vibes. 
I'm seeing Sag vibes as well. Gemini vibes as well. There's a lot of energy coming out here, but the major energy is Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn, Gemini, and Virgo. Virgo is coming out twice. Very strong energy, very strong pull. Doing the wrong thing. All right, so you have the Two of Wands, then you have the Ten of Cups. So there was a mistake here with this person's energy. They didn't fulfill your cup. I'm also seeing they picked the wrong decision. So I feel like there was something else that they have done here that they shouldn't have done yeah it's showing up like a third person caused this like you were worrying about a third person like a third party because i'm seeing the ten of um the nine i'm sorry the oh my gosh the eight of swords and plus the three of wands here clearly there is someone that you want to know about i'm seeing the ten of pentacles it's like you're still hoping for this you're still trying to keep this alive you're trying to hold on to it it's like a lot of you could have a contract with this person i'm seeing like a family i'm seeing like maybe a child for some of you could have had with this person because this is still in the upright and i'm seeing like the passion of that relationship was ended but i'm seeing a huge like apology coming towards you as well all right we have the judgment here we have aries and we also have libra energy so there's a, a decision that needs to be made here i'm seeing the two of cups and i'm also seeing the knight of swords yeah this person is jealous of you knight of swords page of swords they're jealous of you why why is this person jealous Queen of Pentacles. So you have a lot. This is what I'm feeling. You have a lot. You did a lot of healing. You did a lot of overcoming. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you've been through a lot and they don't know how you did it. But you were kind of like, they're kind of looking at you as someone that is kind of like holding on to what you have built. Um, like you're, you're, like you, you ask questions when people need something. Like, this is how they're viewing you, you know? Like, they can't really approach you when they do need money. Or they just hate the fact that you have everything. Or you're appearing to have everything. But you're trying to protect yourself from this person. This is what I'm seeing in mental health. This is um, a really strong connection between you and this person. This could be an old friend, you guys. I mean, this could be love, too. i'm picking up here i'm seeing like this person wants another chance with you this is what i'm seeing with this knight of cups like they want another chance with you and they're going to plead their cause they're very dramatic in this way especially if they don't get their way they're going to be very dr dramatic but your angels are popping up as well within this judgment they need to be that it needs to be a balance here if there isn't any balance i'm seeing libra energy also Aries within the judgment. Hmm. It's like something to do with your home and your foundation, the things that you have built. It's like whoever this is, you're trying to protect someone here. It's like whatever you're going through, you're trying to make this stay the same. Now, the energy that I'm also picking up is like, okay, not now, but maybe in the future we'll work things out. Maybe in the future we can make it work. You have a lot to gain back with the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you lost yourself within this relationship. I'm seeing communication twice over. So that is good within the King of Swords and also within the um, Queen of Swords. You know, finally done with the nonsense. You want a change here. You both are going to tell each other how you feel when it comes to this relationship. But when it comes to the love, you're still like building walls between each other. But again... You know, this relationship was supposed to last a very long time. You're supposed to be 
like teaching each other things and being the strength for each other this is what i'm seeing here but of course because of everything that happened you don't trust this person so you're gliding cautiously cautions cautiously <laughs> with this person's energy okay so let's see what this person wants to say to you because we tapped into both of your energies so let's see since this is a no contact let's see what we have for this person's energy when it comes to right here we're going to use the same deck okay person's energy towards? this person's energy towards Gemini what they want to say what they want to bring up for Gemini <clears throat> wow seven of pentacles there was no true investment here because this person didn't have anything to invest. I feel like this person didn't, I mean, at the time they didn't have anything. They didn't have any kind of links that was happening. Um, they didn't feel like they could make any moves, but something have changed here, but within this person's energy now, but it's still going to take some time. So whatever depression that they were going through, anxiety, they kind of like put that to the side. So I'm seeing like this person could have been a Gemini or a Capricorn because those two energies are coming up. They're just elements, but they're still energy. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands and the Six of, uh, well, not this, what am I talking about? I'm about to say the Six of Cups, like somebody wants the Six of Cups here. Okay, so the Ace of Cups and then we have the Five of Swords in reverse though so that's good i feel like a message is coming to you like this person is strong enough to to tell you the truth or just like to tell you what's going on here i feel like that's what the judgment was all about earlier like you're waiting for this judgment situation you're like you're waiting for this this these messages to come towards you and they're coming in very quickly but i don't feel like you're going to be giving this person like an opportunity when it comes to love because i feel like when it comes to love and your emotions you're still pretty guarded with that energy i'm also seeing the five of swords here like whatever you guys were arguing about i'm definitely seeing like a white flag like okay i'm sorry about this but at the same time this person still remains the same you know i'm seeing the chariot the two of wands here and the three of swords so you're still going through some kind of severe heartbreak that you're going through with this person a lot of tears every night i feel like a lot of you are losing yourself falling into depression with a severe heartache just going through it because you're saying to yourself in this moment that this person is saying like you're making like you're thinking that you made the wrong decision here like you had a choice and you made the wrong decision but they want you to know they're coming towards you there's a sun at the end of it all you know you don't see the sun but there's a sun there's a fine line in at the end of everything. I feel like this person still have some kind of baggage though. That's what I'm picking up here. It's like even with the three of swords, I'm hearing balance needs this needs balance. A lot of you could have lived with this person. The Ace of Wands is coming back up again in reverse. So this person knows that it might not be, it might not be a success with you and them, but they're still going to try their very best. And seem like this is a foundation again. Remember we had the Ten of um, pentacles and now we have the ace of pentacles which is a foundation for some of you could be married or have a child or some kind of money tied up together businesses 
something is not quite done here and you're keeping this in the upright the same thing as the ten of pentacles you're keeping that in the upright the same thing with this person's energy even though the promises that you know again the same thing the promises were very empty here like this person didn't you know keep their word per se with the nine of cups in reverse so empty promises there but the nine but then you have the five of pentacles and a five of swords five of pentacles five of pentacles is, is an upright so you're still dealing with some kind of um money issue some kind of coldness you feel quite alone or this person left you this person could have even left you for someone else could you clarify this um this five of pentacles Oof. Tell me more. Okay. So I'm getting like a lot of you were married to this person and they cheated on you with a friend or someone that you just don't talk to anymore. You used to have lunch with them. This could be their friend. Some kind of shadiness went on here with you and this person. This is why you're going through the five of pentacles. This is why your house is so cold. This is why you're shut out. Tell me more. Wow, Six of Cups. Remember I was saying Six of Cups? I don't know. Here's the Six of Cups, you guys. It's crazy. Here it is. Okay. The devil is coming up every day today. What's going on? You have the devil here. So somebody has an addiction issue or someone is very toxic. I feel like this person has been toxic for a very long time with everyone but for some reason i'm seeing like a chain like they have a chain on you okay so i'm seeing like you're ready to move on here you have the four of cups you have the three of pentacles in reverse but you have this six of cups here confusing confusing energy because you and this person still want to be with each other not only that there's a contract here two of cups six of cups here this person is bringing that up you know they're watching you okay they're coming in when they want to and then they leave again there's something going on with this person there's they're not learning what they should with you so this like this 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 environment bring you guys together you're just not you're both not learning what you should be learning <sighs> i'm seeing an incompletion here i'm seeing a decision here so you guys are growing apart that's what i'm seeing clarify the two of cups the two of um swords please yeah, you're going on your own journey. There is a lot to, to, to forgive, a lot to heal, a lot to, you know, just close these chapters, close these doors. Why? There's a lot of lies here. This relationship will build on some kind of lie. Okay? I feel like this person has to start telling you the truth. Tell me more. Justice. Wow. Can you say it? Can you say it? It's just, it is what it is. I'm like clarifying each card here and it's like telling me like there's lies here. This relationship was built on a lie. This is why it's so important when you meet someone to just say the truth. Say the truth. If you really like that person and that person likes you, just don't build it on no lie. Lies too, it's too much work and you have to remember what you say and it's like, no, you just tell the truth about everything or don't say anything at all this but tell the truth because if a if a, a foundation is built on lies it's going to fall and then you're going to have to try again okay so let's see what the angels have for you okay let's see what the advice is for you when it comes to gemini's please and no contact This person is coming. I'm seeing Cancer energy. For those of you that are with a Cancer, there's so many other energies coming up, but I just want to talk about Major Energy, Capricorn as well, Libra energy as, as well. There's like balance that's needed here. I saw Libra twice where I need like balance is needed in the Three of Swords and plus with the Justice, balance is needed. So tell me more. Ooh, success. Let go in the near future. In the near future. So it's like I'm getting like there is like someone is holding on to this um, transition or 
someone is holding on to this this these feelings someone is not really letting go there's a lot of healing that needs to be here first before you guys can get together i'm seeing time i feel like when it comes to depression and stress and anxiety i'm feeling like that's out the window like this person is healing it from it and also i'm seeing the ten of swords like closing a lot of things that doesn't really they don't want to be around but I feel like the angels are just letting you know, like in the near future, like, you know, you need to let go of being in control. This is happening very quickly. This is what I'm hearing. And it's going to be successful for those of you. And if not, because I feel like you and this person have unfinished business because you guys have a lot of feelings together. Um, you still have the same feelings for each other. This is the two of cups here. Mutual feelings, looking at each other like you're one, you, you just don't understand it. You, it's a past connection. You feel like you just know this person. It doesn't matter how much bad things you say about this person. Let somebody else say it. Let somebody else say it. You're like, hold on, what? <laughs> Who are you? Period. Um, I'm seeing trust need to be built as well. There's no trust here. Remember, I saw the fools as well did i see the fools because i know i saw the fools like there was no trust for you and this person strength wow yes my dear but i'm seeing the ace of um wands i'm seeing the queen of cups here so something is changing this is what you don't see coming I feel like you're finally getting this new beginning, but there is conflict here. There's things that you need to address with this person. This person comes to be very curious, very friendly. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. If you're not careful and not setting healthy boundaries, you're going to be right back where you were in this connection. I'm seeing communicate clearly, you guys. Communicate clearly. It's coming up. So tell me more. Okay. So we have you're ready. Ooh. So you can do this. You feel like you don't have anything else within the strength. Like you're so exhausted. But the angels are saying there's something better too. If you want to wait for that. They're not going to keep you in a situation that you don't want to be in. But there is a conflict here between you and this person. There's unfinished business. The past is coming back up again. Past issues. Some of you could be with a Scorpio. Forgiveness is also pushing through here. There's a lot of forgiveness that's needed. Especially for you, yourself. Ooh, meditation bring answers so the angels want you just like I, I felt like there's still this energy of like really finding yourself and making yourself first i'm getting that energy a lot a lot um when you find yourself and really tap into the divine and and letting the universe like really support and lead you and just trust it and just let go of everything you're going to see that everything is going to make sense. You're going to see that you're going to have all the opportunities that's coming to you. You're going to see that things are moving very quickly and you're finally going to enjoy it because you're going to be in this place of understanding, of deep meaning. Is this going to be like really just brought into your, your energy, into your soul? Um, and so you're transmitting it into spirit because your soul and spirit is two different things, you guys. Your body, soul, spirit, two different things. Your spirit is where you need to tap into to manifest, to get these things in to the, this, the, this physical aspect that we have. Our souls are the ones that make decisions, you know, go back and forth. So the conscious mind, the conscious mind, if you want to say it like that. But it's the, it's the part of you that breeds in, give this body life. You want to say that, right? But your spirit, you guys, you, you're living through your soul, but you're not living in spirit. You're just not. And 
I just got this message like you need to tell them to start living into spirit because spirit is going to let your you, your body enjoy the finer things in life and to be able to just experience this have your soul experience all of the goodness that spirit has for you when i say spirit i'm saying god you guys god has for you oh my gosh but that's what i have that's what i have and that came right through me thank you divine for that message because you have it coming towards you but you guys need to tap into it and I'm telling you, if I didn't tap into it, I would be at a dark place right now. And I, I just I'm so grateful that I I took that that conversation with with my divine. And here I am today being of service. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.